Now, just as we predicted, SoFi is absolutely exploding up almost 11% today, just hitting 10 bucks on the dot as of recording this video. Unreal movement at a SoFi, and there is more to come based on their fundamentals, based on some new deals we'll talk about in this video. I'll go through how to make money on SoFi with a lot of different strategies I'm doing in my own portfolio and much more. So let's break down all the facts on what's happening right now and why SoFi is up so much today. SoFi Technologies announced a $2 billion deal with Fortress Capital to expand its personal loans business. This deal is aimed to increase SoFi's presence in the space, helping grow its lending capabilities. SoFi CEO, of course, Anthony Nodo, emphasize that the partnership will help the company diversify towards less capital intensive and more fee-based sources of revenue which could reduce reliance on traditional lending and of course the stock was up massively from that news great for their company fortress capital describes sofi's personal loans platform as a compelling investment opportunity highlighting the attractiveness of the business model to institutional investors sofi's lending services have generated over 340 million dollars in revenue last quarter accounting for over half of the company's total revenue the company has seen recovery of course in the stock price moving toward a break even for the year and up almost 50% from the lows we saw just back in July and August of this year. Now that's the newest update with SoFi, but of course, as I've been telling you guys on the channel past couple of months, SoFi at large has been doing well before this announcement today. We had their member base grow over 40% year over year. They have a ton of cross selling capabilities, which they could do even more with all these new personal loans on their balance sheet and continuing to partner with other banks financial institutions as well as time goes on earnings have been great 11 upward revisions in the past 90 days which is really good continued revenue growth as well gap profitable again the financial services segment which is another higher margin part of their business growing massively as well their future outlook looks to be pretty good 2.4 to 2.465 billion dollars in net revenue 600 to 615 in adjusted EBITDA 25% margins there 30% member growth everything is looking really good 45% EPS CAGR over the next six years so I'm not saying SoFi is a guarantee buy and this is the best company to buy in the market right now, but it definitely is undervalued compared to its peers. And you're starting to see now that SoFi is a stock worth buying and has a lot more upside left. Now on the chart, as I talked about back in June, July of this year that we were on this downward trend below this downward resistance line since around December of 2023, we would try to break above and we would get rejected and come straight back down. But when we broke above in July, we made some higher highs, we dipped back down, but we actually have this as a support line. Now, this right here was such a huge buying opportunity. We actually draw right there. So obviously you could have bought at lower prices down in May of 2023, that would have been great as well, but we didn't really know for sure if there was gonna be an uptrend longer term, but this here rejecting, this huge downward trend line, this was the point to buy. This was another point to buy as well. We were making a higher lows and higher highs. I was making several videos over the summer in September. I recently made an hour long video on SoFi, breaking down the entire business and why I feel it's a great buy at current prices. And of course, since I made that video right around here, we are up over 30% in the stock and we're actually right at my resistance line I have at around 10 bucks a share which is a huge resistance, not just for the stock, but psychologically as well. When you hit these double digit numbers, people are gonna start taking profits and we might see some rejection off 10 bucks a share. I'm not saying we're gonna rock it straight above to 11, 12 and onward back to prices not seen since 2021, 15, 24, 25 bucks a share. That will come eventually as long as SoFi is growing its member base earnings and revenue. But in the short term, I do see the potential for some you know, maybe like a minor correction in the stock down here to the moving averages, another 10% back down to nine bucks a share. But again, if you look, we've been making higher lows and higher highs. And as long as we continue to do that, this stock is a buy. So would I buy today at 10 bucks a share? I mean, if you have a long enough time horizon, that's not a bad decision, but I would be wary of buying when a stock is up 10% because 
there usually is some type of minor pullback when a stock is up this much. When there's this much euphoria in the market, sometimes the sellers come in, they take advantage of that euphoria, and the stock comes back down to reality. But with SoFi, there is a reason why it's up. So it's not like we're gonna crash right back down to seven bucks a share. I don't think we're gonna hit seven bucks a share anytime soon, if not ever again. But back down to nine bucks a share could be a decent pullback and for longer term investors would be a solid time to buy the dip. Now, of course, I have some small strategies on SoFi and I wish I bought more. This one is a $15 leap call option, which expires in 2027. And this is taking advantage of leverage here. I'm controlling, in this case, 200 shares of SoFi and I only put up around $200, $300 in capital, which is a lot less money than what it takes to actually buy 200 shares of SoFi, right? I'm already up 50% in my small position. I should have bought more. Who would have thought that this move would have happened this quickly? I thought I would be able to scale in, but it is what it is. And I probably will add to this position on a pullback. Not today as the premiums are up a lot, but this is pretty good. And I will be holding this for several years. Another leap option position I have in SoFi, a $7 call option expiring next September 2025. I bought originally for... 200 bucks around there, $400. And of course now I'm up 83% in my position. This one I might add to as well, although this is already deep in the money. As the stock price really goes up, it's harder to get that leverage, but we'll see what ends up happening. On a pullback, I'll reassess. And if the pullback is massive for SoFi, if we go down to eight bucks a share again, I definitely will go in buy some more leap options. Of course, leap options, I don't normally like to buy options. They're very risky, but if I'm gonna buy options, I'm gonna buy options with a lot of time where I could actually gain leverage. If I believe that a stock is undervalued like SoFi, back a couple months ago and probably still right now, I'll buy a leap option. I use a very little capital upfront to take advantage of controlling 100 shares, gaining that leverage, and as the stock price goes up, which I'm expecting the stock price to go up if I'm buying a leap option personally, I'm gonna get more capital, a higher return than just simply buying shares of the stock. So buying shares is not bad. I, have, I buy shares all the time of all different companies, but if I truly believe a stock is undervalued, I'll go in and buy a leap to gain even more leverage and increase my return massively like a, you're seeing here up 83%. So those are just some strategies I'm using right now to make a lot of money, outsized returns on SoFi stock. Let me know down below if you want to make more videos on other strategies you could use to make money, not just on SoFi, but other stocks in the market right now. Subscribe for more stock analysis videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.